that unite are deeper than those that divide. This exhibit is really important for us to really be able to celebrate our namesake and understand why a performing arts center is named for a fallen president. Roughly two thirds of the people in the United States were not alive when John Kennedy was alive. And as a result, roughly two thirds of the people in the United States really don't know him as well as they should. As a person, as a president, but then what he did to inspire people about art. What was his belief in art and culture as a means of communicating in a way that diplomacy can't, but culture can? I think we all had a sense this was an important vision for what America could at its best be. What was brilliant was bringing in a group of historians to talk to us about JFK from various perspectives. And I think that this team worked really well together. From the architects, from the exhibit designer, from the AV designers, from the Kennedy Center team. So a huge assemblage of talent brought to bear on taking the incredible content we had gotten from the historians and forging it into the story you see here today. Kennedy became inspirational to a lot of people. He made Americans feel that they had a stake in this enterprise, that his message, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country, I think that resonated with people. So when folks come here, they can feel the power of the exhibit. They can look at the quotes, they can look at the pictures, they can work with the interactives, the power of words, the dinner table, and the dynamic portraiture. They can see Jacqueline's contributions as the first lady. They can see the freeze takeovers and how amazing John F. Kennedy was as a speaker. My earliest encounters with a sense that I had an obligation to be a citizen of something larger than my family came through watching those speeches. Kennedy's speeches were some of the most important speeches that any president will ever make and has ever made. And then it grows quite dark, and we are focused on Kennedy giving the moonshot speech. But why some say the moon? When those lights go down, everyone there in the audience is feeling that same moment before something happens. Why choose this as our goal? Watching the room being taken over by his words. And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? And you felt that you were there with him at his speech. We choose to go to the moon. Is just incredibly moving and powerful. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing. I mean, it almost sent chills down my spine. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. And his words tell that story of why our artists, poets, authors, architects, scientists, so important to understanding who we are as a people and as a country. And when you hear him speak, even me as a young boy, it taught me to have a dream and for us to believe that we can do bigger things. The arts is so important to all of us and to our soul and our spirit. And here is a place where you feel it from the moment you walk in the door. What I want is for the people to come through here to see the inspiration that we get from who he was and what he said. And then see what we do and see themselves in the stories that are being told and that this is America that includes everyone. And I think that's what John F. Kennedy was trying to say in his way. And I think that's what we are trying to do every day.